Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name, that's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. In today's video, we're switching it up a little bit and we're doing a glueless wig install tutorial. So it's gonna be a voiceover for the most part because you know, I was listening to music, on the phone, all that stuff, watching YouTube, all that stuff while I was trying to focus on installing my hair. You know your girl is blind, so, you know, she had to focus, you know. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of specs on the hair. I'm pulling it up on my phone now because I could not. So, this wig is from Eunice. They sent it over to me in exchange for the review. I really, really love the hair. It comes this color already, so you don't have to worry about bleaching or anything like that. I did not bleach the knots either, and it looks really, really good if you ask me. I did pluck a little bit in the front and along the side, um, as you guys will see when I show you guys like how the wig comes and stuff. Um, it says it's pre-plucked on here, which it kind of was, but, you know, I have to still add my little little twist to it. So, they describe it as a Eunice Curly Honey Blonde Lace Front Wig Human Hair Ombre Highlight 13 by 4 Lace Frontal Pre-Plucked with Baby Hair 10A Brazilian Remy Hair and 150% Density. I got mine in the 14 inch, so stretch, it'll come right here, but since it's curly... It's gonna sit right here on my shoulders anyway and literally this is just with water I literally only put water in the hair and finger raked it through and this is how it looks so if you guys want to see how I installed this wig go ahead and stay tuned all right so boom here we go here is how my hair looks underneath it's, I don't know how to cornrow y'all so we just make it as flat as possible and we're gonna do the bald cap method today ratchet edition <laughs> because I'm not cutting out holes in my eyes none of that so basically you just want to make sure your hair is sleek back which is why i had that scarf on originally and then we're going to take our whatever glue or spray or last adhesive you want to use just use it spray it on the cap where your natural hairline is and then you're going to blow dry it so that it stays straight and stays in place and i'm going to cut out my ear holes So once your ear holes are cut out, that's when you go and blow dry it and the wig will pretty much just stay in place. Well, not the wig. What am I talking about? The wig cap will stay in place and that's when you'll begin to cut all the access cap off that you really don't need. So this part right here is self-explanatory, so I'm going to just let y'all watch. all right so now that we got our ball cap how we want it we're just going to put the wig on so that we can see how we want it to lay exactly before we spray it down because once it's on your head it's on your head so you want to make sure it's exactly where you want it to be i'm just showing you guys here that i put some foundation the same foundation that i put on the wig cap is what i put inside the wig and look how it's laying girl it's just lame so my got to be spray is a little caked up so i'm using my finger to apply it because when i spray it you guys are going to see later it sprays everywhere like it sprays everywhere like no unacceptable disrespectful so i'm just using my fingers so that it's precise and only going on the part of the lace that i want it to go on the same way that we did for the wig cap is the same methods we're using for the actual wig so i am just rubbing in that spray making sure that the lace is flat with the end of my rat tail comb and i am basically just 
making that lace melt so i'm using the blow dryer i'm switching from hot to cold hot to cold when i am blow drying because the hot just you know it just makes the process faster let's just be honest and now i am cutting off the you know a little bit of excess wig cap that was still exposed and don't mind that you can still kind of see some of my real edges we will fix that later i'll show you guys how I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my baby, and I'm making my lady. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. In the love of a woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. My love. Okay, now that we have our wig in place, it ain't moving, girl. It ain't moving at all. We're going to cut tabs in the lace, and we're going to get the razor, and then we're going to basically cut the lace off around my hairline. So we're going to just line it, give ourselves a lineup, you know, on the lace. I like to use the razor because I can have more control over it instead of the scissors, and... I tried to do like the zigzag type of motion when it came to cutting the lace, but you guys are going to see it kind of went straight across like, but we're, you know, we're going to fix it. It's all going to come together. This is why I'm filming this so you guys can see my mistakes and how I do things so that you can apply it to yourself and not make the same mistakes that I do. cut the lace we melted it now we are going to get into styling so i'm taking again that same foundation powder and just taking it on my hairline so that it's not that harsh white casty type of appearance right there where the wig cap is showing really can't decide what i want to do with the parting i kind of like the flip over method type of look here i'm gonna have to get my hot comb Um, I don't know. I think I want to pull a little bit of baby hairs out. Not really, because I like the no baby hair kind of look. And I like the flip over. But, yeah, I got to figure out how I want to style it. Because the way I plucked in the front is really giving scalp right now. I'm feeling that, feeling that. Let me get a smaller brush than this and fill in in between and see how I feel. The way, my head is huge. Let's just start there. So my ear tabs aren't really ear tabs. They're like temple tabs. So I still have like slick edges showing here. Hate that, but I have that issue with most wigs anyway. So I pretty much know how to deal with it. Um, let me see. Pull out some hair right here. So the key with the baby hair is right. I twist them like this so that they're not like dramatically cut and then I just go in and with my razor and I just cut in this kind of angle 
so all this hair comes off and this is what stays the key is to not have them too long I mean rather than be too long than too short because you can't save it when it's too short but you can save it when it's um too long oh look how about I go get my airbrush hold on all right so this is a, a control I'm using you already know I always use the same one true edge in the scent strawberry I like things that smell good okay so yeah I'm going to add some edge control onto these hairs the the, the key is to go ahead and coat the hair with the edge control because then you can shape them any way you want and the more edge control you, I mean the more edges you have the easier it is to blend that part that has like the hair showing out and yeah I just get to swoop in swoop I've been seeing everybody um curl like with a tiny curler their baby hairs I'm not into that yet but I might hop into it so don't be alarmed if I randomly start doing that one day because I like little shortcuts to things you know I don't like I like working smarter not harder you know okay <laughs> I feel like I look like my mother okay if y'all seen my mother before you'd understand so boom here we go i really like the inside oh i forgot to get a little tiny brush to fill in right here but y'all can kind of see the vision here i got my spray bottle because we need to tame the beast over here on this side so we're just gonna moisture her a little bit and really i could put my um scarf back on wow y'all i feel this big i never thought i would like blonde so close to my face yeah, if y'all want to feel like that bitch i say get this wig honey get this wig honey oh my gosh y'all it's literally only water in this bottle y'all see i'm barely doing anything to it i did pluck a few hairs out uh, I'm pretty sure I covered that. I'm trying to, I close my eyes when there's like water hitting me, but um, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that inside of the voiceover that I did pluck the front. I watched like, um, what do I watch? Lareja, Andrea, stuff like that. Um, Arnell, things like that, so that I can get motivation toward you know how to pluck my wig properly and stuff like that um so yeah this is how it came out i really really like it let's come back with some makeup so y'all can get the i want y'all to get the full effect okay <laughs> All right, you guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you guys would like to see, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Bye!